So here is a video by Van Epps, Andrew Van Epps, who worked with Chris Pollitt for many years, over 10 years, I believe. And this is an x-ray time lapse over four weeks where they are trying to show you that this is the progression of laminitis and P3 is rotating and sinking through the capsule. So it's separating from the hoof wall, which indeed it does because that's what laminitis does. Um, and it's decreasing in solar depth. And uh, you look at this and indeed, as you watch it, as you watch it through th to the to the eye, it seriously does look like that bone is sinking straight down through the capsule. But the eye can't discern from the first photograph to the last photograph, the change in the capsule. Now we're always saying, aren't we, that rotation isn't rotation and sinking isn't actually to do with the laminitis, it's to do with the incorrect hoof care because the laminitis is distorting the hoof capsule and therefore the hoof care professional tries to attempt to make the hoof look more normal from the outside. Now, what's been ignored in this time-lapse imagery is the change in the hoof capsule. And like I said before, you can't discern that because you can't see something at the beginning and see it at the end and, and tell, work out the difference. So what I've done is I've taken the image from the beginning, the first x-ray from the very beginning, and I've taken the x-ray from the end. And I want to show you something else that does not look like it's sinking through because this is actually what's happening to the to the hoof capsule so here it is i've taken uh, the first image and i've got it it lined up those yellow lines are draw are drawn around the hoof capsule as it stands at this moment in time now you can't I, i'm sorry it's off youtube so there's a line in the way and there's a bunch of icons down in the right hand corner but if you i followed the hoof wall right down and it actually goes beyond the bottom of of the screen to be to be actual fair so it goes a little bit further than that yellow line that I've, I've drawn but for this purpose it'll do anyway and then you and then I've joined those lines up and I've put a red line from the from the coronary band to around about the center of the of the the mid the mid area of the bottom of p2 you can see that there just so that you can see that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fade from the first x-ray to the last x-ray. And I want you to see the difference in the trim. I want you to see, to look at the toe and see how the toe has changed and what the hoof care, hoof care provider has done to the toe and how he's chopped it off and how he's remodeled it and how it doesn't look like when you're looking at the video, it's really hard to discern the change in the Palmer processes and the actual change in the position of P3. But when you have them lined up next to each other, you'll see it's not sinking, it's rotating and the hoof capsule is being manipulated. And you can see that the heels are going up and you can see the whole back of the foot being squished at the back. So that's what I'm going to show you now. So that original video, you've got that in your mind. Now you're going to see it in a different light. So watch this. When I take it and I start to move to the next image, instead of it sinking, you can actually see that it is in fact rotating, giving the uh, to the eye from the beginning from that video making it look like it's coming down but it isn't because look at the hoof capsule so we've still got ourselves in the same position but look at the toe here all the way down at the bottom where the the two yellow lines meet at the toe now when i go back to here look how much material has been removed from this hoof capsule look how the hoof care professional has completely removed sole he's removed the depth of sole and he's removed the toe and he's not had a, a correct balance point to balance to hence the reason he's been thinning the sole which is now why p3 looks like it's sunk but it hasn't in fact it's not moved it's just it has moved but it's 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 the hoof capsule that's moved moving p3 as the hoof capsule moves and you can see that from this image here, right at the beginning, look at the heels and look at what happens to the back of the foot. 
as we go back, can you see the back of the foot going up? And if you look at the Palmer processes, so that's the, the bottom of P3, now you're looking at the bottom of P3 and those little wings that come out of the back. Now look at this when I, when I actually fade it through. Can you see P3 rotating? Can you see the capsule changing? That is to do with the heel height. That is why the, that is why P3 is rotating and the sinking or P3 going down to the, towards penetrating the sole is because the hoof care provider has removed the sole and the toe. So that is the same x-rays, but done in a slightly different way because I've marked up the hoof capsule put them on top of each other and line them up and then just faded from the first to the last. And it isn't sinking. As you can see, it is the hoof capsule that is changing. Can you see that? Long toe, well not long toe, an ordinary toe there. But of course they're frightened of lever forces, tearing lamina, which of course obviously didn't fix it because the lamina continued to, to, to separate. And then simply raising those heels, raising those palm processes, which you can see, and um, removing the toe and thinning the sole. And there is your rotation, all caused by manipulating that hoof capsule. Can you see that? It's cool, isn't it? I mean, it's not cool for the horse, but 